This is Gabriel Gonzalez for Cage Side Press here with the former UFC middleweight champion, the pride of the Carolinas, Mr. Chris Weidman. <laughs> yeah, I'm not used to hearing that too much, but yeah, I'm born and raised in New York and uh, I left to the Carolinas like three and a half years ago and I'm Carolina Chris now, man. Do the I gotta live it up. Do your New York buddies give you a hard time like you ain't one of us anymore, uh, bro? Yeah, no, no. You, you can't enjoy pizza, you gotta do all the other things. <laughs> they bust my balls definitely for sure, but I'm more New York than all those guys put together, so it doesn't matter. I agree with that. Um, you know what? A lot of fun stuff going on in the middleweight division. I mean, just like as a spectator, what are what do you think of everything? I mean, you got Strickland on a run, Whitaker, uh, Nazardine, you got the title fight with two guys with a lot of bad blood and Dracus and Izzy. I mean, what's it like watching these guys play out? It's fun to watch. It's always exciting when you have a kind of a fluent division where you don't have a, just one champion up top. The belt has been changing hands a lot. Uh, Dracus Duplessis, you know, there was so much doubt about this guy because he's got such an unorthodox style and he he looks tired a lot of the times, but he's really proven to be, you know, a, a worthy champion. And um, and then, you know, again, the Adesanya fight coming up, I'm super excited to see that. You know, you got a way polished, way more polished striker traditionally, like really athletic and, and just good, great, great technique against a guy who kind of like lunges and blitzes forward, his chin is, his, uh, chin is up in the air. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how that, that, that tanglement works. You know, one of the things that's been funny to see, Anderson Silva still trucking, still boxing guys. He just got back in there with Chael. If they gave you the phone call that said, hey, Anderson wants to run this one back for a third time. Do you feel like that'd be something you'd be interested in, uh, boxing? A hundred percent. Actually, yeah, I got, I got calls, but I'm in the UFC still. I got a UFC contract, so you can't just go and do that. Um, but I would, I would love to do that. That would be fun. Um, your guy, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, I mean, first off, like, did, because it was his brother, your sister, do I have it backwards? His brother, my sister, yep. Okay, I guess, it, is that how they met, because of you guys, or was it in reverse? No, they met because of us, so um, what happened is I would bring out Wonderboy for all my fights, we got super close, uh, I met his brother a couple times, and uh, the, his brother, his brother Tony, fell out with my sister, and my, and my wife kind of, like, helped like match them together and like she made it happen at first my sister wanted nothing to do with them uh, but he, she ended up falling in love with them next thing you know they got a great beautiful family got four kids now it's it's really amazing did you ever have to have that talk with uh, wonder boy like hey bro if he messes it up if he doesn't treat her right i'm sorry but you and I, you might have to move up to 85 and i have to handle this i told him i said listen we're not even doing it in the octagon we're doing it in the gym <laughs> We're doing bare knuckle, and we're just I'm going at you, man. You can't stop me. Um, you know, I think fans always just want to hear how you're doing with everything. Just um, how's life for Chris Weidman? Obviously, we love seeing you back out there when we can and everything else. Life is great, man. I, you know, living in the Carolinas, family, you know, I'm, I'm a big family guy, you know, so I'm, I'm huge into my kids' sports and their activities, and I just like to be there for as much as I possibly can because I know they're, it, it goes super fast. Um, so I'm enjoying that, and I'm still training, and I'm looking to kick some ass here in the UFC still. So, yeah. Chris, we're always looking forward to it. Thanks always for the support and the time. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.